Today I will tackle that challenging issue which we discussed last time and that is to answer questions of multiplication uh, like this. So how would I answer a question like two apples times two apples or three apples? Uh, so you see this was a uh, motivation in the very first video <coughs> So to answer questions like that uh, We need to reassess the interpretation of multiplication last time uh, Multiplication of integers was introduced uh, As repeated addition and then we had to uh, uh, conceptualize the cases where negative numbers were involved so it was much more than uh, repeated addition and you actually you can watch that video if you want to uh, refresh that but today I would like to give you an alternative uh, interpretation uh, of multiplication you can view multiplication from a from an angle which allows you to answer these difficult questions as well. So <clears throat> today we'll uh, try to um, see everything in terms of sets or multi sets. Yeah. Whether you are happy with sets or multi sets, it doesn't matter because we need to uh, operate on sets. So let's say I have, and you know, a set is just a collection of objects. So if I have a set, a which has two apples yeah? and for short I will use A for apple yeah? so that I don't have to write it uh, completely so A and if you want to distinguish between those apples I will say A1, A2 there are two apples and the first collection or set or multi set whatever you call it and I have another set B which has three apples and if I label them as A1, A2, A3, you see, I have another collection. So now how do we connect this to multiplication? Let's say, uh, I mean you will be doing something very similar to multiplication. Um, but uh, let me <coughs> start slowly. So if I take with, if I start with one of them, let's say if I start with, let's say this one, yeah, this set B, which has three elements. If I only want to uh, replicate this, yeah, so this set has three elements, so I can say that the size of B, if I use hash for the size or number of elements, if this has three elements, yeah, so if I take this once again, and if I uh, repeat this, so I will get this set, and again, if I edit, if I repeat it, uh, then I will have three plus three, I'll get six, and that will be the same as I'm multiplying this 3 by 2. So this this will be something like this, that I have 3 apples, yeah, and I just multiply this by 2, twice 3 apples. So this 3 apples actually is the size of this set, and if I am multiplying that by 2, I am taking this set twice, yeah. So 3 elements, again 3 elements, and that combined set has six elements. Yeah. So I would say multi sets because these will repeat. Yeah. So if you want to be accurate, I will say I am thinking of a larger set A1, A2, A3, and again A1, A2, A3. And you see this is a multi set. So this new set will have six elements. That's what you mean by two times three apples. Now, but this this view cannot answer 
the other question, like two apples. So now it means that we have to somehow work on these two sets and that will be different from repeating it. So I'm not repeating B twice or thrice. I'm not repeating A. I'm combining elements of this set with elements of this set or to be specific apples of that collection to apples of this collection and the combination will be uh, something which I can relate to multiplying two numbers. If I combine them in such a way, combine these two collections in such a way that I take one apple from there, one apple from there and then, then for that same apple I can pair it with this. So these are different pairings possible. Yeah, and then A1 can be paired with A3. So the first apple of that collection can be paired with any of these three. So I have three possible pairs. Then I start with the second apple. And that can be paired with this. The first apple. That second apple of the first can be paired with the second apple of the second collection. And that second apple of the first can be paired with the. So how many pairs do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you see, it, the number of elements is still 2 times 3, 2 elements here, 3 elements here, but now we are dealing with quantities, yeah, it's not just count, well, we are also taking into account what we are counting, so we can actually invent a notation, and this is what you mean by A cross B, so this is a product of two sets, Cartesian product if you want to call it. So now, I can say, I can now see this as two apples, because two apples is the size of that set. I can simply say that, okay, it corresponds to A, because two apples is the quantity of this collection, times three apples, and three apples is the quantity of this collection. Yeah. So now I can say, if I look at this, the answer, which of course is 2 times 3 is 6. Now that I have 6 elements. This 6, and I don't, I don't yet know what to write here. This will be the size of this set. Yeah. Because we are working on sets. Yeah. So now... I know this A cross B is a new collection formed from these two collections in such a way that I make possible pairs of collection. So now, I here I can say that I have two apples. The unit is apple or the denomination is apple. Here it is apple again. Apple. They are all apples because the labels doesn't, I mean the labels don't mean that you are not dealing with, for example, oranges. Oranges, they are still apples. But here I cannot say six apples because these are not apples. These are pairs of apples. So I have six pairs, or I can say pairs of apples, or I can say apple pair. Or if you want to be too mathematical, you can simply say apple comma apple, if you want to, to be very precise. But now, the upshot of this is that if you were repeating this, then apple plus apple would have given you two apples. That is like repeating something. Here you are not repeating, you are pairing. You are pairing an apple with an apple. So now I am ready to give meaning to the pair. Yeah. I can now say that if I take an apple and if I pair it with another apple, this has to be seen as a single pair of apple. Now, this is not apple, this is apple pair or pair of apple. So now I can safely say that two apples times three apples, because the only sensible way to make sense of this multiplication is the cross pro the Cartesian product of two sets of which, yeah, 
these two are sizes. So now this will give me, because you see I don't lose the numerical value, it is still 2 times 3, 2 times 3. Now I have 6 apple pair, 6 apple pairs. That's because then you don't need, you don't lose the identity of these two apples. And do not confuse, because a single apple pair has two apples. Yeah, but you are not adding. Yeah. If I want to know how many apples do I have in a pair, the size of a, of a pair will be two, but that's not my concern. I'm not uh, interested in the size of a pair. I just want to see this as a single pair because that is the meaning I can give to A cross B. Yeah. So A cross B is a new collection and that is an abstract collection of pairs of apple and <coughs> two apples times three apples or six apple pairs is to be seen as the size of this set. I hope you got my point. So, what we can conclude from today's video is that we must distinguish between two kinds of multiplications involving uh, units or denominations. Yeah. So, for example, 2 times 3 we know. What is 2 times 3? If we have 2 times 3 apples, we also know what it means. This is to be seen as the set of 3 apples replicated. Yeah. So you are, this two times has the same meaning as this two times. You are only replacing this three with three apples. So this will be six apples. It is still apples because this two times does not change the nature of that denomination. This will be simply six because there are no denominations involved. But if I have denominations here as well as here, the only sensible way of defining this multiplication, of course, in all cases, my number will still be 6, but the denomination used here cannot be apples, it has to be pairs of apple, and I am just writing it as it is so that you know what I mean. I should be writing it as apple, comma, apple, or you can, if you want to write it, you can say apple, pair, because it has to be seen as a single pair, uh, that's uh, it for today. Next time we will take up this idea further and maybe we are in a position to um, introduce division uh, involving these denominations of units. Uh, I don't need to uh, explain that you can easily uh, extend these ideas to numbers involving negative and because you know what a negative number means. So if you know what minus 2 means, you also know what minus 3 apples means. So if I now put any minus sign, the rules from my previous video will actually dictate how it should be done. For example, two apples times three apples should be six apple pairs, two apples times minus three should be minus six, and minus two apples times minus three apples should be plus six apple pairs. I mean, you, you are clever enough to, to guess that. So, bye for now and see you in the next video.